Hey everybody, Bill Wish here with the Sparta Avenue stage in Sparta, New Jersey. We're going to work on probably what's considered by many magicians as the number one card trick of all time for a variety of reasons, as you probably know. It's very entertaining, but also very mystifying, very different from any other card trick. It's called Slidini's Helicopter Card. So, let's get busy. Card's always here. All right. <laughs> Take one out. Yeah, I, knew that, I knew that was the one you were going to pick. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter if I see. Now you got to watch the card. Right. At all times. This time I'll put it in the center. Okay. Whereabouts would it be? Probably right about there. But it's not over here, right? No. Take, take a look. Make sure, make sure you know all the cards on the okay. top. No? Yeah. You're a double-handed guy, right? No, it's not here. This one here? I don't think so. What's the name of this trick? The helicopter card. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> this one. Yeah, got to be. That's it. <laughs> All right. Want to do it one more time? That's the Slidini's helicopter card trick. It's probably one of the greatest card tricks ever invented because it's so relational with the with the audience member. And the audience loves it because you're working so well with the person and it's totally mystifying to the people in the audience as well as the uh, spectator. The card switch in the fan, this is the first phase. You've made your fan, the person has removed the card and you're gonna pre pretend, you're gonna supposedly put the card into the pack. So for the second phase, you're having them take out another card. So they take out a card and again, you say, I knew you were going to take that card. It gets a laugh. It's a little bit of humor. And you do another false move and you turn to the left. Now, this is the third phase. Same idea. You're at the edge of the table turn, but I'm going to show you the move. As you saw in the, in the performance part of it, it's pretty well covered. It's a great principle, the crossing the gaze. That's what they call it. But Slidini used to call it more natural than natural. <laughs> and it works. He's, like I said, he uses it for many effects, paper napkins over the head, flyaway coin, etc. Great technique. If you learn the timing,